why Bifrost? With the development of more public chains adopting past consensus to improve project availability and decentralization, 80 more past public chains with more than $145 billion total market value have been born. Proof staking over $2.5 billion rewards will be generated each year. Meanwhile, with DeFi market boom and the anticipation of the Ethereum 2.0 staking launch will stimulate the crypto market in 2020. The rapid growth of decentralized finance and the staking market is pushing the two mechanisms of DeFi staking to interact frequently in the blockchain landscape and overlap to create more compatibility, but problems ensue. There are three main problems of past now. Competition between staking and DeFi. Users can only choose one between DeFi and staking before the appearance of staking derivative. If DeFi rewards cannot cover the cost of staking bonding, users will move their assets from DeFi to staking by higher reward selection. Vice versa, users will transfer their assets from staking to DeFi products, but insufficient staking rate may cause security problems of past network consensus. Thus, either way, we'll face a lose-lose situation. Conflicts between liquidity and security. The mechanism of pause determines that the security of the network is maintained by the mechanism of staking, which means that the liquidity and security are mutually exclusive. Normally, increasing the liquidity of staking requires to consider the network security, while the liquidity solution of pass staking token seeks to break this barrier, which reduces the opportunity cost for users to participate in staking while improving the overall staking rate of pass public chains. If the staking rate is too low, nodes may have higher risk of centralization, which will cause users loss by their safety concern arise. Whereas high staking rate leads liquidity deficiency in the market. The price discovery can only be done through a few tokens, which means that there are a lot of bubbles leading to higher price volatility. For those users who are staking their assets, they cannot do risk hedging because there is no liquidity in locked position and opportunity cost of staking being large. Staking and cross-chain conflict. With Polkadot, Cosmos and even more cross-chain projects go online. Users have more enthusiasm to participate in cross-chain scenarios. However, users may lose their original staking rewards by converting cross-chain tokens. Currently, they not only need to pay commissions and other fees, but also the cost of time is incurred during staking. As blockchain gradually breaks down the barriers, assets or data can flow effortlessly on chain. Staking rewards can be released in cross-chain scenarios, which will significantly reduce the entry cost of users to participate in cross-chain. So Bifrost was born in the circumstances of past blockchain century and accumulated development experiences in previous projects, and chose Substrate to develop Bifrost on Polkadot which takes advantage from staking as the early stage to provide liquidity in the form of staking derivatives. As a DeFi project in Polkadot ecosystem, Biofrost launches VToken, staking derivatives voucher token, which allows users to exchange POS token to VToken and obtain liquidity and staking rewards through Biofrost protocol at any time. Bifrost has acquired a Web3 Foundation grant, which is also a member of Substrate Builders program under Parity and the member of Web3 Bootcamp. Now let's see how Bifrost solves these three problems. Bifrost provides an intermediate layer between staking and application layer. The reward competition between staking and DeFi is resolved by making the relationship between staking and the application layer which is built on the underlying protocol, become top-down compatible instead of parallel to each other. The mechanism allows that users can convert POS tokens to V token at any time through Bifrost Parachain via Bifrost protocol, and each POS token will correspond to a different V token, such as V. Bridging Polkadot token, V. ETH Bridging Ethereum token. In simple terms, users only need to hold V token and they can obtain staking rewards. By providing VToken liquidity, past network liquidity and security can be both fulfilled so that to solve the conflicts between past network liquidity and security. Then according to the cross-chain characteristic of VToken being built on Parachain, which enables that staking rewards can be obtained in order to solve the problem of obtaining staking rewards in cross-chain scenarios. 
The key to solving problems like these is to provide staking derivatives with a trading scenario that meets their liquidity needs with Bifrost built-in V-token swap, which allows trading between 64 pairs in single pool of 8 currencies. The optimal path exchange will be opened up later between V-token swap trading pools, where V-token swap's liquidity providers will receive a share of transaction fees and liquidity incentives. VToken Swap provides the initial liquidity scenario for VToken, while VToken's settlement free design allows for centralized and decentralized scenarios, which are ideal for performing in the third party centralized trading or storage scenario of listing VToken. Partners can distribute staking proceeds to users without additional development, making VToken liquidity easier to scale. Remember, VToken is by first product of staking derivative, but not mainnet government's token. In this episode, we've talked about what are past problems now and how Bifrost stands on the interlayer position to solve them by staking derivatives. Next time, we will talk about Bifrost's main product, VToken, how to achieve higher staking reward than original chain. See you next episode.